Online Racing is sponsored by Elgato, who created this lovely stream deck. For more information about the stream deck, the link is in the description below. Yes, hello everyone and welcome back to another season in the Apex Online Racing Project Cast 2 PC GT3 League. This is tier 1, the best GT3 drivers on Project Cast in AOR at it for another season. My name is Fizzy and I will be one of your commentators throughout this season and joining me for this first round is, as usual, Mr. King Kodiak. Good afternoon, morning, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. Yes, we are back for another season of these beautiful GT3 cars. And the cry and the call from Fizzy has been answered as we have quite a strong showing of this beautiful machinery we are staring at from Project Tragic Bronson, the Lambo. Indeed. And for this first round of the season, uh, it is ten rounds as usual. We are at Algarve in Portugal for... Uh, Race that I'm very uh, excited about commentating on because I've actually I've never raced on this track and I've never commentated on this track. I remember last time you was in the league, I was away somewhere and you had to do the commentary yourself. Mm. <laughs> so oh yes, that was that was not only when I had a really bad throat, but also my microphone decided to drop my voice by about half a tone. So I, it really did sound like it was going through a voice changer, which is really <laughs> really bizarre. Yes, um, uh, but enough about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> moving on. I have uh, commented on this course in, in uh, wasn't last season, I think it was the season before. Uh, but also I've done an endurance uh, race here. Well, I commentated on an endurance race here for AOR. So uh, I, I, I love this particular track personally. I, I'm a big fan of it. It's got a lot of challenges. There's only one major straight, which is from the final turn, which we're looking at Marley now. He's coming through that final turn. That is the only real straight to talk about. It's a very uh, short straight from turns four to five. Uh, if I bring up the map, you'll see turns one, two, and three in the bottom left of the map there. And then you've got four, which is the next left-hander, and that short straight there, that's the only other straight where anybody can get any decent pace. But the particularly turn 14 is so easy to fly off the road you kick it too hard and it's is really heavily cambered as well so it, it it's creates a lot of challenges but we have got a lot of drivers we need to talk about yeah we certainly do there uh, should be 28 drivers on uh, the grid today i believe it looks like it's well, we've, uh, 27 we've in at the moment right, yeah. but we'll yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> one unfortunate one has uh, dropped out hopefully we get back in before the end of this uh, 10 minute qualifying session but yeah let's do then a little run through of all the drivers we have with us uh, for the season let's start with a champion it is jardier of course the reigning two-time champion of season nine and ten he is uh, has changed his car for this season he is in number, number. The Lemon Lambo is back! I'm so excited! <laughs> it's amazing! And the champion is uh, wearing uh, those colors as well. So, uh, yeah, he is, of course, a man to look out for. Can he get a third consecutive championship? Only one man previously in the AOR GT3 Tier 1 uh, League on PC has won um, three consecutive championships. Uh, only one <laughs> other has won more than one championship, and that is F1 Massa, of course, back in Season 2, 3, and 4. Can Jadir. Uh, copy of that feat of this mm. season. He's had 10 wins from the 20 races he has done. Let's move on to his main challenger from season 10. That is De Heidi, the Italian, who is uh, in uh, the BMW Z4 again for this season. He, uh, um, yeah, he was uh, <laughs> very solid. He wasn't far off Jardier last mm. season. He gave him a good run for his m money and had four wins from 10 races, so won nearly mm. half of the races in season 10. So he's uh, be interested to see how we'll, he will stack up against Jardier in, uh, in the Lamborghini. Moving on to Scott, the British driver, who was very consistent last season. Finished uh, f fifth in uh, the championship, uh, kept finishing fourth and fifth in the races as well, but he never got onto the podium. Is this the season where he will manage that? He was also the Tier 2 champion back in Season 9. Then moving on to Zenvo, who uh, previously was known as Zenny, for those who watched uh, last season. He finished sixth uh, in Season 10. Uh, and uh, like Scott, he finished fourth a few times, but never got onto the podium, so you will be looking for uh, that. Then we have Leon, the sick one, the Swede, who is uh, seemingly also in the Lamborghini for the season. He hadn't <laughs> had an update, uh, he chose his car very late, but he finished seventh in season 10. Another very strong driver, can be a bit inconsistent from um, my experience uh, from watching him. But he had five podiums from the two seasons he's been in the league, so another one to look out for. Moving on to Villa Lobos. He is a Heidi's teammate, also in the BMW Z4, also Italian. 
He finished 13th in Season 10, but I think he's got more in him uh, because he only did six races last season and still got a solid championship position. Then we have another Italian, that is Adelexis, the third Italian on the grid. He finished uh, 14th in Season 10. He's been with us for a few seasons now. He had a couple of podiums previously, but uh, didn't quite have the season he was looking for the last time out. So let's see if he can improve on 14th. Then another... Uh, I guess we can call him a veteran by now, entering his third season, to Desert Pack. He finished 15th last season and is in the Mercedes AMG this time around. And moving on to Mr. Van Omen, Jadier's teammate of course, for the last couple of seasons. He was very strong in season 9 with three podiums, but he uh, only finished 18th in season 10. Quite disappointing, so let's see if he can bounce back with a better season 11. Then Zal, the final uh, returning driver from the grid last season, actually only 10 on the grid that raced with us in season 10. That is uh, Zal, the Norwegian. Uh, he finished we don't only. Don't have Zal with us, I don't. Oh think. right, yeah, okay. So he's not here for the first race, but he is in the league, so you might see him pop up in future races. Uh, then moving on to Aid of the A's, that's an interesting one uh, because he was on the Xbox uh, uh, Tier One league last season. Finished 13th place there, but. Uh, he is a former champion on the Xbox side, with a championship in Season 6 and 7. And he's also been, also been commentating on the Xbox side in recent seasons, so... One to look, look out for, I think. I think he's got some pace in him. Then let's move on to the drivers who were in the lower tiers uh, last season, and has moved up, starting off with Dalking38 in uh, the Lamborghini. He is the reigning champion on Xbox Tier 2. So moving over to the PC, let's see what he can do. Then Dakuza in the, the BMW Z uh, M6, actually, Finnish driver. He finished fourth in PCT2 last season. Another PCT2 driver was Lusty. He finished sixth there, moving up also to um, to T1. And then finally Shooter is a new coordinator for T1. He was uh, tenth in T2 last season, but he must have found some found some pace in the off season, moving up to T1. Let's uh, try and be a bit quicker with the remaining drivers, because there's only mm -hmm. a couple of minutes left in the qualifying session. We've got uh, John Beauregard. He finished technically 19th in Tier 2 last season, but he only did one race, uh, where he finished second. So, I mean, I think that's not quite representative of what <laughs> he can do. <laughs> uh, JK14, he's a champion of Tier 4 of all places. So, wow. uh, he is taking a big step up to see if one for this season. Let's see what he can do. He is currently 12th in uh, the qualifying session. Then a, a few interesting returning drivers, we've got Rillo back with us in the Lamborghini, the Swede who uh, has raced in the GT3 since Season 5, but he is sat out in Season 10, so uh, he is good to see him back on the grid. Then Tapek in the Audi, he was with us in Season 9, he finished 14th place there, also showed some pace in occasional races. Murphy, that's an interesting one. The only Dinesa on the grid once again, like in Season 9. He is back with us. He's also the Tier 1 champion, uh, champion from uh, Xbox on, in Season 8. Then Suomi, another fast driver who's been with us before. Um, has actually won a race back in Season 6. Um, so, he's <laughs> another one to look out for, I think. Then, a few new drivers. Let's go through them quickly. T-Mac, he is actually the reigning champion of the Ginetta GT5 league that we had between the two GT3 seasons. And then, uh, just uh, four new drivers that haven't been with us in the GT3s before. Benny Zigley, Gamisuke, Rudders, and a Tragic Bronson. No idea how they're going to do. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's wait and see. Then... Uh, few reserve drivers as well who might pop up now and then. I don't know if Speed Demon is with us today. Mm -hmm. uh, he is indeed. So, uh, oh, he's in the Acura! He's in the Acura, wow. That's something we haven't seen much of. That's the first time that car's been represented in Tier 1 in Pink Yeah. Austin. Fantastic stuff. And then we got uh, the reigning Tier 2 champion with the Mali 57. Uh, and he beat the next guy, Clown to the championship by one point, and they're now teammates in Tier 1, so that's uh, that's very and interesting. They actually have, before they cross the line now, exactly the same lap time. <laughs> Holy! To the, to can the they be any closer? And they're next to each other on track as well, this is incredible. Oh, uh, finally, Cleveland's just broken up. Never yeah, mind, we sorry. have Bo as well, but I don't think he's with us, because uh, I think he said he could he only is. do the second half of the season. Oh, he is! Okay, never mind. Bo is with us. All the reserve drivers on the grid today, and those are the drivers that we That took a while, but there are <laughs> all the drivers. <laughs> We have with we us for this. I, 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 I couldn't go through them. Uh, I, was, I was trying frantically to click on all of our names as you were reading them out, and the checker flag is out. So <laughs> good timing. Good timing. Jardier, our champion in the Lemon Lambo, 
is our pole man. He's coming around. The, is he? He's bringing that in, isn't he? Yep. I thought he was uh, going a little bit too slow. Down kick. Nice wow. uh, start. An unusual uh, livery there. Two tens behind. 140.8. Great effort, Suomi, in the same unusual coloured Lambo. Oh, Benazili has just jumped up to fourth in his Audi. Very few Audis, considering we were Audi dominant last season. It's a complete turnaround for the, the season. Jumps up to fourth, 149.98. Then is De Heidi in the lead Z4. That's, uh, look, it looks angry. <laughs> <laughs> Villa Lobos in the next Z4, then 141.201. Then it is Zenny in the first Mercedes. I think only Mercedes in the grid. Then it is Leon. In the next Lamborghini, 141.319. Then it is Gamisuki in the next Lamborghini. And running out the top 10, it was a clear win right at the end. We do have a few people coming to complete their laps. That is one of the Mali. He's coming around. Now, that's what it looks like. And that's where this you've got this crest right on top of the apex. And then the car just wants to wander. You want to push the car harder, but it's so easy to fly off the road and just completely invalidate your lap. And we, well, obviously, we know who that is in the uh, Janetta behind. Murphy setting his oh dear 201 so he's really struggled to get to grips with this particular track the only man on track is John Beauregard in the uh, golf colored Mercedes and see what he does 144 442 does he improve he did improve indeed to 142 but didn't quite see what position that put him in but that wow. is your qualifying position. Usual sight at the front end. Jadier with the pole position. Dalking very impressive from Xbox tier 2 to second place on the grid in his first PCT1 race. Nice. And Suomi returning with style starting in third. The Heidi, last season runner up in fifth place. Be interested to see how he gets on. You can see the rest of the positions here. I think the timer will go out before we get to read through them all. A anywhere uh, near it. <laughs> yeah. So Murphy, interesting, in 28th. Uh, don't think his 2 or 1 was a representative lap time, 20 seconds off the pace. Mm. So uh, he's got some comeback driving to do in uh, the race for sure. Just a tad. So top three, Lambo, Lambo, Lambo. Then it is Audi. Then Z4, Z4. Mercedes, Lambo. Lambo and Lambo. That's 60%. <laughs> I'm loving this. So many Lambos. I'm so excited. 60% <laughs> of the top 10 in Fizzy's favorite colors. Then Marley and T Mac, our Ginetta champion. He's also using the Lamborghini staff 12th. Scott has moved over from the Mercedes from last season into the Z4 for this one. Then Ad Alexis. Trying to remember what did he drive last time? Audi, I think. Um, so he joins us in the Z4 as well. And JK, new addition to this league in the Audi with AD Ace in the next Lamborghini Alliance. Speed Demon in the Acura. The first, uh, first time that's been represented in Tier 1 for Pigas 2. Then there's Dakuza in the M6. Then it is Rodders, a name we didn't really get a chance to mention. New entrant into... Is he new, he's new entrance to AOR? I don't recognize the name. So I'm assuming it's, it's not just a Tier 1, but it's actually to AOR as a whole. I don't recognize Rodders. Apologies if he has raced with us before. He's in the Merc in 19th, and it is Lusty in the next M6 in 20th. Shooter in 21st in the M6. Then two Desert Pack in the Merc 22nd. Van Allman. He's uh, not had a good run in the Lambo so far, but we'll see what he can do. Then he's Tragic Bronson in the next Lamborghini with John Beauregard in the Golf Colored Merc in 25th. Rido 7105. He is also in the Lamborghini in 26th, Bo in 27th in the M6, and Murphy in the Sol Ginetta. I will always have a, a little bit of a soft spot for Rido because I did commentate on his championship run in season, I think it was six. Yeah, uh, tier two champion uh, season six. Yes, I was yes. commentating that one. That was uh, in my formative formative time as a commentator here at AOR. That was my <laughs> second full season in GT3. So uh, I'll always have a, a, a little bit of a we, we try and re remain as impartial as, as, as we possibly can, except when it comes to Lamborghinis. Try to remain impartial, but uh, if it really doesn't win, we quit. <laughs> but, I mean, we're, we're all, uh, yeah, we're, we're all human. We all have our... I, I defy any commentators to say they don't have, uh, you know, somebody that they secretly cheer on. I know full well I do. I, I, I try and keep it under wraps, of course, for, for impartiality reasons, etc., etc. Never mind, that's enough of that. Let's have a look. See where they're coming down. They're coming down to turn five. This turn is very difficult because just as they come over the crest is where they want to break. Very slow left-hander. Second gear, then he's start back uphill for the full speed turn six. That's the left-hander. Damn see. it, we got differing track maps again. 
Oh, what turn have you got there? <laughs> Seven. Really? <laughs> yep. Oh, OK. Look. Yeah, well. Now the right-hander, so, uh, well, a my map turn seven. And then... Oh, uh, maybe I've got a chicane at turn two there, which isn't on this layout. Oh, no. Oh, there is a version of the track that is uh, of that has a chicane there. That's not the version we are running. When you bring out the map, oh, you'll see. No. You can see it actually on the physical map, but that's not the version we run. I see. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. So I'll, I'll dis... The, the track's one number from each of my corner names. Uh, well, <laughs> except, except for turn one. The, that that was correct. <laughs> <laughs> so now coming back downhill, and that turn there is known as Porta Mount turn 10. That is actually very tricky as well because you're braking and turning at the same time. Now into turn 12, which again is you see the camber in the track, but then it because the actual apex is slightly off camber. So it's very, very challenging indeed. Then for Sagres turn 13, which is this one here. Now coming around. And then they start to come back downhill again. If we go actually there, you'll see where the undulation changes. They've now formed the 2x2 two two line. And here is the dreaded turn 14. The apex is completely blind. And then suddenly you drop down and it then becomes on camber. But if you've already overcooked it, you are flying off the road. And there ain't nothing you're going to do about it. You are flying off the road. But here we go then, forming the 2x2 two two line to start the season 11. Yes, we do. A lot of people in the stream. Welcome, everyone. Let's hope we can enjoy a good race together here. 28 GT3 cars on the grid for the first round of Season 11 in the AUR PC GT3 Elite. Uh, well, that was the previous name. Tier 1 <laughs> Championship. And we are <laughs> underway here. Jadir has put his foot down as the cars are streaming towards the first corner. Suomi under pressure from uh, Dehide into the first corner. Dehide's got a storming start. He started in P5, but he's uh, not quite managed to grab third from Suomi. He's up, though. Past uh, Leander Sick one is up in fifth as well. He's gained some places, I believe. Bill Lobos in uh, sixth, oh! and there's been a collision ahead of Zenvo. That is Bill Lobos, and uh, who was the oh, other car? There's several oh. drivers. They're sitting on the apex. There's uh, hard for the cars coming behind to avoid that. Quite unfortunate. Oh, oh. then he hasn't seen uh, the car. Uh, going past him as well, so Leon involved oh. with an incident again, there's another car spinning on the next corner, that's interesting, Tragic Bronson's had a tragic first lap of this race. You had to, didn't you? I did. <laughs> yeah, pretty bad start for a number of people then, and that's the problem when the, the pack is so tightly condensed, one mistake and you are surrounded by a lot of people, great start though by the Heidi, he's straight on the back of Suomi. That is the view from the Z4 then, he's got, oh, he's having a look on the inside, oh. it's a double apex right hand, there's, see, on my map just class turn 10, then back down here again, he had to think about it, who wouldn't have had the drive that the Lamborghini would have done coming down the hill then, so he's going to have to bide his time, but look how close Dow King is on the back oh, of a Jardier, I mean, we know how difficult Jardier is to chase. And what an excellent start to his particular season. Van Omen has got his his uh, name on the penalty board then right the way down there in 19th place. Look at the field there. It's the penalty he's got himself. Ouch. That's the 32nd penalty. So he, the game didn't think he'd l relinquished a position back. That'll almost certainly be contested. I mean, look at the, the amount of weaving and diving that everyone's had to do already early on. He's probably had to do an off-track overtake to avoid further incidents. So that will almost certainly be appealed. Bear that one in mind later on. Jardier then leads away. Dalking nailed to his rear wing. JK is in the pit. Yeah, a number of people in the pits. What a surprise. JK, Lusty, Omen, and Leon all come in for repairs to their cars then. But Jardier doesn't look like he's going to have it all his own way. Dalking trying to stay in the slipstream then. There's that crest. It's, you can see at the point that Jardier breaks. He's just gone past the crest. If you break it a little bit too early, the car just gets really unsettled, ABS or not and it, you can't really spell disaster coming into turn five. So a little bit further out, Dehydi's now up to third position. He's managed to displace Suomi by one point, uh, by one point. Oh, goodness me, Dehydi, we saw you do that a lot last season. Just, he tends to drive the very loose. We have lost a driver already. It is, I don't know, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm not very good at identifying who it is we've lost. Might be one of the guys that went in the pit lane. I, I didn't wonder that, but I think they're all still with us. Omen, Lusty, Leon, JK, I think they're all still in. So we have lost a driver from this race, sadly. Uh, but never mind, we crack on. Hopefully they'll uh, make themselves available for us in chat, perhaps. Oh, look at the queue behind Suomi. That is Zenny in the Mercedes right underneath his rear wing with Ben Zilli 
as well, keeping track in the Audi, one of the few Audis we have in this season. There's Cleo in, in the Rainbow Lamborghini, not far behind. Lots and lots of battling going on. Absolutely, yeah, frantic first uh, couple of laps as usual. And yeah, very unfortunate with that incident at the start, of course. I think it started with Leon and Villa Lobos coming together and quite a few uh, drivers caught as collateral damage to that one. And look at this though, Battle Zuomi under pressure. I wonder if he made a mistake on the previous lap because he lost a lot of time to the Heidi when he went past and now he's very much under pressure from Zenvo, who uh, is one of those guys who got a lot of fourth places and fifth places last season, didn't get a podium, but he is chasing one at the moment. You know, but he needs to get past Zuomi to do so. Zuomi's uh, start of the race hasn't quite matched up to the great qualifying that he had, but uh, he just had to settle down, regain his focus, and uh, yeah, just not crack under this uh, pressure. Three cars are very, very close behind him as Dalking in second place has picked up a penalty. Oh no. Already Two in this seconds, race. So Two seconds. So he's been a bit naughty already with uh, the track limits, you would imagine. Mm. Four more people have come into the pits. Rodders, Two Desert Pack, Villa Lobos, and Tragic Bronson all bringing their cars in at the end of lap three so a lot of people well we saw a lot of carnage going on i would imagine there's going to be quite a few stewards inquiries on the back of that wow that's dalking you can say well the fact that he's got himself a track uh, you know track limits penalty shows you how hard he's pushing but he's wanted to hang on to the back of jardier he just needs to calm it down a bit See, so, you know you've got a number of laps to go and you've also got this man to Heidi bearing it on you i wonder how strong the z4 is going to be at this particular circuit. I mean, we saw, I, I will never forget the opening round of last season at Sonoma, and he pulled off a brilliant early stop and just stormed through the field like no one was there and <laughs> just took the dominant win. It was absolutely brilliant to see. Look at that four car pack behind him though. That is, uh, that's not that, although that's another battle. That's the camera just getting a little bit lost. So that was uh, Speed Demon Scott and Alexis you just saw there. But that's looking from Cleo in at that three-car pack ahead of him of Benzili, Zeni, and Suomi. Suomi looks like he's really struggling. If I got the right car, there we go. He looks like he's he started well, but doesn't seem to have been able to hang on to the pace too well. Certainly. I'm just uh, having a look to see, because I assume we're having the same uh, rules this season in terms of the pit stops with the mandatory pit yes. stops. So that means that the drivers can Pits any time after the first lap. Oh, and what's happened to Dalkin? He's the lost past, last five laps. And what's happened? Oh, Dal yeah. Dalkin's lost second, so he's actually made a mistake somewhere. So, uh, apologies for cutting you off there, Fizz. I just suddenly, suddenly realised this battle's gotten even bigger as Murphy has brought his car into the pits as well in the Janetta. Now they are on accelerated tyre wear, so they won't be able to just kind of. Oh, it's, it's exceedingly unlikely we're going to see people run their cars to like the last two laps or last five laps before they bring it in. Of course, we, I believe we do still have the uh, lap uh, that, you know, you can't be within the final five laps of the race uh, rule in place. So we will see then if any, because we did have people fall for that. Uh, I want to say it was at Alexis, but I'm not 100% sure it was. We did definitely have someone fall for that in, 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 I can see the track, but I forgot the name of it. Oh, no, that's Wait, where are we doing? That's where we are. Yes. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's going to bug me. So well, that, that either way, that, Dalking, either way, yeah. Big story at the moment. Dalking's made some kind of mistake, and unfortunately, that sort of put the pressure uh, off Jardier in terms of getting a battle for the uh, for the lead of the race. We know how good Jardier is, of course. Uh, when he's running out in front, he rarely gives away a lead of the race when he has it. Even if it, <laughs> he's under pressure, he rarely gives it away. To be fair. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, Dow King still a very impressive debut in this league after being Xbox Tier 2 last season. So, uh, showing his pace there. Absolutely. Absolutely. A few more people coming in. And Alexis has brought the Z4 in along with Gamma. G I can't get this right. Gamasuki and Rilo uh, bringing their cars in. They're probably more scheduled. Uh, lots of people pitting early, uh, yep. trying to kind of repeat the success that. At uh, De Heidi managed last time around by doing so. There's another battle. It's ADAs on the back of this three-way battle with T-Mac and Dakuza right ahead of them. So that is um, M6 and then a pair of Lambos in there. Scott has a battle with Speed Demon. There they are. And there is that's the Acura. So the Acura's not doing bad in ninth position. Yeah, kind of have to cheer for the Acura a little bit, just sort of as an yeah. underdog car. <laughs> if you haven't seen it before. 
Yeah, yeah. He's not not doing a bad effort. So, so 142.7 last time around. That's, that is pretty respectable. As we've lost another from the race, unfortunately, and I haven't... Uh, I haven't yeah, the first one, I believe, was a bow because he was in the chat. Uh, uh, that's a shame. And apparently, so, uh, just an update from Stefan, one of the uh, podcast uh, moderators. Uh, in AOR, uh, the drivers can come in now uh, in the uh, in the last five laps as long as he's not on the final lap. Oh, so the the rule. I, I confess, I wasn't actually going to commentate on this season. I must be honest. It was actually something I discussed with Vizzy beforehand. I was actually going to have a break from this season. As, as I've been exceedingly busy for quite a number of weeks, I was thinking I just need a bit of a break. But I'll be quite honest, I just got the urge. I just got <laughs> the urge to commentate again. Um, you never so get the urge. You might have some blips now and then, but the commentary urge is always going to be there. Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Dalking then trying his best to hang on to the back of oh, De Heidi. He was uh, about 600 quicker than the Z4 last time around. Jardier is off to the tune of about three seconds ahead of this particular pack. Suomi has managed to shake off some of the cars behind. He's now actually closing in on his teammate Dalking. There you just saw at the bottom of the shot, that's Zenny being very, very closely followed by fellow newcomer Benizili in the Audi. So that's battle for fifth position. Cleowin's fallen off the back of that particular battle. There he is in the Lemon Lambo. Oh, I love that getting... camera. And that, yeah, that's a good one. It's a shame that the, the one around the final turn is a little bit lost. But, uh, <laughs> There is uh, the view from the Audi then as he chases that Mercedes around that really clumsy, awkward turn 12. And then over to the left, quick squirt of the gas before you come around the 180 degree turn 13. Still lots of cars in very, very short succession. We do have some that are actually a lap down due to early pit stops and what have you. Yeah, the good, a, the good thing is though for the guys, those guys that did have to pit early for damage is that at least they will have done their pit stop so they don't have to pit again. Uh, if they can make their tires last. As lo yeah, obviously, yeah. As long as they aren't too harsh on their tires. And they can make them last. Was there a side-by-side -side in the background? Yes, there was. Scott moving past Speed Demon. <laughs> moving past the Akira. Up into ninth position. Uh, I was actually... Oh, no. Beg your pardon. Yes, it was right. I, I was actually reading the, the overlay wrong. That's how, um, <laughs> that's how rough I am at the moment. So, yeah, it was uh, Scott indeed gaining that ninth position from the Akira. But the, as you can see, he's really staying on the case of the Z4 as there oh there is Beauregard in the I keep wanting to say Aston coloured because I've only ever seen those those golf colours on Aston Martin so uh, or yeah. four or four GT40s which we don't have in this game much much to my chagrin I like that car <laughs> wow that was quick so uh, schedule something exactly the same as we had before it would seem you don't have to uh, change tyres, so I wonder if the accelerated tyre wear is then not necessarily forcing a pit stop, but forcing people to consider it, or maybe, you know, to, to just make them have to think about tyre preservation a bit more is uh, possibly what we will end up with. We will have to see as the race progresses. Suomi is closing in ever so slightly on the back of his teammate. He was a tenth quicker last time around. De Heidi was a couple of tenths quicker than Dal King. And Jardier is really close to getting into the 41s already. So uh, the Lemon Lambo flies again. Yeah. I cannot <laughs> remember who it was that was in the original Lemon Lambo from season eight. Was that Nick Mido? Yes. Oh, what a memory. Very <laughs> good. And there is a 41 then from Jardier. 41.9. And that was actually not his best lap. So he's already been in the 41s. And I've completely missed it. So uh, De Heidi 2. 42-3 last time around with Dalking 42-2, so again a little bit on it to Heidi that lab. Wow, that was a big snap of Obes there. That's uh, oh, a very weird line that Dalking was taking. Very like different he's... line from De Heidi. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced that he meant to do that. It looked like he had a snap of Obes to steer out of two, or he, he got his line wrong out of one and was unsettled through two. Either way. Um, oh wow, he really again. Yeah, just going very. Uh, I don't know if he's just outbreaking himself and just I, taking I to the tight did. line. Yeah, but look, yeah, the, I, he rec I reckon he did because look at Soomi now is much closer to him, and look at the gap that he's now just giving himself to Dow King, who. Um, oh yeah, he's still carrying that penalty from earlier. A few more people on the penalty board. Dakuza's going to have a one-second penalty further down the list. Van Ommen, we know, has got one. Tragic Bronson. Uh, I think, was it Trenton Bronson that had the 30 seconds? Or was it? Uh, oh no, that was Van Almond. So 13 yeah. seconds. Oh dear, that's, that's speeding in the pit lane. And oh wow, Dalking, that is uh, 
That's determined. His, his car is very, very loose as he won wide EAP. Yeah, I thought he'd have to slow down. He would have absolutely had the uh, track limit warning there. He may choose to ignore it, uh, but he certainly let his uh, teammate through. No fighting going on there. He's pushing too hard. He needs to just calm it down, get back into the rhythm. Very easy for me to say, as I proved in the Genetta League, I can't do it very well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it's very easy for us to say, you know, do this, do that, do the other. But when when you've got someone bearing down on you, even if it is your own teammate, it's, it's very easy just for the red mist to descend and uh, to push that a little bit too hard. Yeah, certainly. And with these guys being teammates, it's been interesting to see if there's going to be any team orders uh, mm. <laughs> between them. Uh, you know, yeah, you'd think that most drivers uh, focus mainly on the, dri on the driver championship, but I mean, there's, there's a reason that drivers have chosen to team up, if, mm. uh, if not only to, uh, to, to practice together and share setups and those sort of things. But uh, there is, of course, a team championship as well, which I'm sure we'll touch on uh, at various stages throughout the season. Ed the Ace now in uh, the pits, uh, the uh, two-time Xbox uh, champion back in Project Cars 1. Uh, pitting from uh, round 14th place. Oh, he's run over oh, his Oh, he has he missed his box. Yes, he has. Yeah, he's he reversing oh. into, well, the, into the box there. It's OK, Aid. No one was watching. <laughs> so, Quick stop for him, although made longer by the fact... I think he actually stalled, because I, I didn't hear the engine for a little while, so he may have actually stalled coming into the pit box. Either way, Aid is uh, served. His mandatory pit stop is now back underway. And here is T-Mac, then, in the black Lamborghini, chasing Takuza in the M6, I think lead M6, in this race. So now the battles are beginning to peter out. We, we are still... Oh, oh hello. That's a Murphy and JK. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Ginetta then getting a good... Inside line then onto turn one from the Audi. Then that is uh, Beauregard and Tretic Bronson to ready ahead of him. So a great four-way battle here. Of, uh, actually, oh, that is uh, oh, it's Gamasuki actually joining the back of this. So what is that? Lambo, Merck, Ginetta. What's JK in? Audi. Yeah, yeah. quite a few marks. Oh, oh hello. Yeah, we've seen quite a few people actually go for that early apex, exactly as we saw Dalking, who had... Oh, yeah, he's lost that. Uh, I just realised that uh, Dalking's down to fourth, but of course we watched him do it. Yeah. So a few people seem to go for that early apex at uh, turn five. Well, uh, I guess it kind of depends on your driving style, the setup of your car, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, Lusty has got some company there. Now that's AD8 that's come out right within that. It's battle for 19th place. So we still have battles throughout the field, but the one closest towards the front is these uh, still... Oh, oh! King! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly a teammate collision there. It's bad enough when you're flying towards someone that isn't your teammate, when it is your teammate, it's like, no! And he didn't manage to actually slow that down. Time must have gone very slowly for him in those couple of seconds. <laughs> but ahead of Jardier, ahead of our Lemon Lambo leader, there we see, I think that's Rito. That's Relo in the black Lamborghini. So the field entirely bookended by the by Fizzy's beloved Lambos. Now, Relo, <laughs> Relo will have to get out of the way under blue flag conditions unless Jardier chooses to bring his car in. It's, of course, up to up to Jardier. Relo, I think, has already been in because he was caught up in the initial scuffles in the race. So he Let's will see. be pretty much minding his own business there. Who's currently the highest driver uh, in the field has has pitted? Has Van Omen been in? Mm, no. Yes, because yes. I think he was. I think oh, he was one it? of the ones. He's jumping out of the way of Villa Lobos there. And then Villa Lobos. Unfortunately, so we, well, we that is for position. That is for position, but he was very much getting out of the way. He could have been under a track limit warning countdown there. Could be. Uh, again, we didn't so really in, see. Has, has Villa Lobos been in the pits? Uh, I assume so, because he was involved in that oh, incident on wow. lap one. And he has some visual damage yeah. at least. I assume he got that picked in the pit stop. Uh, mm. But yeah, Villa Lobos then is is uh, is the lead car that has been through the pit lane. So we have to keep an eye on these guys that mm. have been in the pits. Uh, yeah, I, they I, might I might suddenly I, find themselves in the mix in some of the good positions after those mm. guys have all pitted. Could well be. Could well be. Jardier then is closing to the back of Relo. And once again, Jardier, the only man to get into the 141s last time around. Tail end of the field, though. I mean, the, you can actually see the gap visually on the map. You can see coming through turn 12. That's the uh, 180 degree left hand at the top right of the map, roughly. That's where Beauregard is. And the next white dot along is Relo, who is being very co closely caught by the red dot, which is Jardier. 
So Beauregard's still in this particular battle. Murphy has lost a position. He's, he was uh, ahead of JK last time we saw him. There is the Audi of which he had previously overtaken. Looks like uh, Gamasuki, oh, that's what the camera's lost, is lining up for a move on Tragic Bronson. That is for 21st. Nope, Ops, uh, he doesn't, not really close enough to make a move there. Uh, oh, something happened here. No, I just suddenly saw the uh, the triangle pop up there. Uh, Zenny is starting to declare close to Dow King. So Dow King is uh, really struggling at the moment. And who is that ahead of Zenny? That's, oh, that's Dalkin Ben, a... that's Ben Azili. So he's oh. lost another position then. He has. Can he get it back he... though? He's very in a very good position going onto the straight. Has he mm. got the straight line speed to challenge uh, Ben Azili? Through <laughs> the first, I mean, he's got a great run and he's going to go for the inside line. Can he break late enough without having a big wiggle like he's uh, tended to have in the recent laps? And it's still mm. side by side through the first and second corner. And Dalkin gets that inside line for the breaking here. Another little breaking wiggle from him. But he's got the line and he's got the position back. So nice battle for fourth place. But Dalkin is really struggling compared to uh, his qualifying and his early uh, laps in uh, this race where he was challenging Jardier. So he's now a uh, Dalkin train with a, with a few cars behind him. And Zenvo wanting to get in on the action as well. Yeah, Zenvo, I think, went for the apex a little bit too early. We had a bit of a wheel spin there as the... If he's using traction control, uh, oh, actually, we can tell. No, he's not. So he would have hit the curb, which just means that the traction on the rear wheels is in uneven. So it would have almost certainly caused him a bit of wheel spin. So that wouldn't have helped. But yeah, Ben Azili is really piling the pressure on. Dalkin just overdriving his car at the moment. And uh, it's as is displayed by the fact that his that tail is just wiggling around everywhere like an excited dog. <laughs> oh. And uh, the fact that he's down from second to fourth was fifth, of course, he managed to uh, out-drag Benazili coming over the start finish line. There in the background is Cleo, and so uh, the next Rainbow Lambo is catching up to this particular pack. So that's got a lot of battling to do yet, this particular fight, I think. Yep, I would uh, think so as well. We're just going to see. We like a uh, close and hopefully clean and battling going on. I wonder if it's going to be... Like up, so there we go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, wow, for, uh, look how early he went for the defensive Oh, and there's a pit stop. Uh, That's that clear. Yeah. Yeah. One of the rainbow Lambos. As his uh, teammate Marley comes past the pits uh, just behind him as well. And, uh, this trio going through the first few corners again. But he's actually lost a little bit of time there, I think, on the on the apex of, the, of turn one. He's going to put him under pressure very much from uh, mm. Zenvo once again. But... Um, yeah, for anyone wondering about the uh, uh, race length, uh, just to point out, there is a there is a lap counter at the top of the screen. It is the top. Yeah. It's a lap uh, 14 <laughs> out of 35, but it's very tiny and it's oh. very uh, faded out. So it's a bit, bit hard to see. So, but if yeah. we are on lap 14 out of 35, it's going to be around an hour in terms of the length of the race. Um, and we have yeah, a nice three-way fight for fourth. Uh, Wonder if we're going to see a fight for seconds eventually as well, because uh, Suomi's is only just over a second off of Tihari. You can he's see Jardier in the distance as well, but uh, he's yeah. only pulling out that gap, if only a little bit per lap. Indeed, uh, Suomi lost a tenth and a bit from Tihari last time around, so certainly Z4 is able to stand its ground against the pink and white Lamborghini chasing him. You guys have not been in the pits yet. There's this battle we were previously looking at. Four, five, and six. Dal King, Benazelli, and Zeni. And uh, it all comes down. The, the drag out of this, the the drive from T and 13 through 14 is absolutely crucial because of how long you're on the gas for. And again, oh. look how <laughs> early Dal King goes for that. Uh, Almost thought like it was going to pit there. So that was, that's how early it was. Yeah, absolutely, and just the, there is no real drag effect for Benazili to use. Ooh, that's, that's a, always a horrible feeling when you think you broke, you hit the brakes out lightly later than the person ahead of you. Just that real kind of, oh, it always was for me, it's kind of a kind of clenching moment of, oh, I'm going to win it! And, and you, a lot of the time you don't, well, a lot of the time most people didn't. I, I can't, <laughs> I'm not necessarily <laughs> thinking myself. And again, you can see Dalking just committed to the early line. The, you know, he's defending fresh air. Benizili was nowhere near an offensive position. And again, we saw that last lap. Benizili. This is a trademark Dalking at this point. Just uh, the <laughs> tight line with a wiggle in the braking. And uh, then yeah, get around that, the corner. I mean, yeah, I mean, that was Benizili in the Audi just getting too deep. And 
really having to stamp on the brakes. And again, he's also only using ABS, which absolutely fine. They are allowed to use the uh, driver assist available to the car normally, which in these GT3s is all traction control and ABS. They don't have to use them. It's entirely up to them. And once again, oh, Benizzi getting very, very close to the Lamborghini. He can't really use that extra momentum through turn 10 unless someone makes a catastrophic mistake, which is far easier said than done. Um, uh, but, well, no, sorry, it's very easy, very easily done, I should say. Oh, Benazidi again getting very deep into 12. As he's then, he's got a great, you know, ringside seat for this battle ahead of him between the Audi and the Lambo. Zenny going for a wide exit. Uh, there's two completely valid ways of doing that, Con. You st either stay hugging the apex or you try and get a wider exit. Kind of really depends on the setup of the car. And again, look at the lightning exit that the Lamborghini has. That is almost certainly going to keep. The Audi behind, I think that's Rido we're catching up to on these cars directly ahead of this pack. Uh, looks like a black Lambo to me. So, uh, yep, that's Rido's day. Going to get slightly worse. Oh, oh Zinni! <laughs> wow. Oh, my that's... goodness. That's a lot of saves in a row. It were, yeah, absolutely. You you just about cashed it from one, but you've got no time to get the car settled for two. So if you're, if you're unsettled in one, you're almost certainly going to be sideways in two, as Zenny very kindly demonstrated for us but uh, managed to keep it on the road. See how they do this again. And here they go, Benazili <laughs> again, sliding sideways into turn five. Now this could be interesting. Let's see how they uh, handle going around Rila. Rila is obviously a very seasoned racer. He'll know, you know how to get out of the way of people under blue flag. He'll know how to kind of mind his own business, etc., etc. Like we said before, he's a champion in his own right. So he knows what he's doing. Staying over the right hand side, but there's not really anywhere for him to go. I would imagine what he's going to do is just going to go exceedingly wide through turn 10. Yeah, there he goes. Oh! And that, that call. No, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, no, that was that was Relo doing exactly oh, right. what I thought he'd do. <laughs> I thought you were watching the third car in the train. I was like, oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, that was, uh, that was really doing exactly what I thought he'd do, just going very wide off the exit at turn 10 and allowing these guys through. Of course, Zenny is slightly further back. It, I, it might have caught Darkin out ever so slightly. Oh, hello. Zuomi is getting back on the Heidi's case. So that yeah. battle continues. Oh, and De Heidi's now getting into the 41s. Oh, look at that. De Heidi slightly faster than Jardier last lap. Oh, never mind. The lap before, not this lap. Uh, there was the lap before, This lap yeah. is not six tenths. <laughs> and it's actually just four <laughs> tenths to Zuomi, so... Yeah, so me now mm. just set the one second gap to the Heidi. Yeah, yeah. So these Suomi's right in there, keeping the uh, Lambo really large and looming in the mirrors of the Z4. Possibly so. close battle for eighth. Scott and Speedman are remaining close after Scott managed to get that move done on the Kira. No! And yeah, that, that is how close they are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um. uh, the Z4 had a terrible run then through one and two. The Acura having a damn good run through those very corners. No, not the camera I was aiming for. That one will do. So now Speed Demon should get a bit of slipstream. The straight's not really long enough to use a slipstream down into that corner. You either have to hope that someone makes a mistake. Oh, wow, again, that's, that's another loose tail, it seems, on that Z4. As we saw, Scott just really kick the tail out to rotate the car through five. Now over the crest, coming through six and seven. And then head towards Samsung turn or turn eight. Well, commonly referred to it as over the crest, over to the right hand side of the track to get the line flat out through nine. And then this really awkward over the crest on the braking, on the brakes, and turning all at the same time to come through turn 10. We haven't seen anybody fly off the road by accident. We saw obviously Relo jump out of the way of those that were chasing him. And Speed Demon then is. He's working very hard to uh, try and get past the Z4, but Scott doing a great job keeping him keeping him behind. Indeed. Did see a question in the chat about uh, liveries. Uh, Marvin did not answer it, but uh, just to point out all these liveries you are seeing. A lot of them very beautiful, I must say, but uh, they are all in-game liveries that uh, mm -hmm. they have decided to choose from. Uh, Obviously, it would be great if we could have custom liveries, but of course, if you uh, select a custom livery on this game for yourself, then uh, no one else can see it as it stands. So, uh, for us as uh, broadcasters as well, to be able to see people's liveries, they need to use it in game ones. But I think we have a lovely, colorful grid regardless. Um, mm. Of course, uh, the drivers have all chosen which of the cars to drive as well. And uh, yeah, uh, interesting. Uh, when I looked at uh, all the cars uh, yesterday, when I was sort of getting 
a little bit of info on each of the drivers. I was like, wow, so many Lambos. This is amazing. But I was surprised after last season that it was so few Audis. But what I heard mm. is that uh, the uh, the calendar for uh, the, the 10 race calendar for season 11 doesn't quite suit the Audi as much as the season 10 calendar did. And that's apparently the reason why there's very few Audis compared to, to last season. And uh, Lamborghini and... Uh, yeah, well, Lamborghini seems to be the, be the preferred one, and then a lot of Z-Force, uh, quite a few Mercedes. What, what a shame. <laughs> what a shame, <laughs> is. Well, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Suomi's getting closer to Heidi. That's only go. half a second between the two now. They come around turn 13, and the Audi is really keeping the pressure on. I think Heidi may have made a couple of very small mistakes in the last few laps. 42-3, which is still blindingly quick. There's a few more back markers ahead of them. Shardy now is pretty much outside. Look how early to Heidi committed to the defensive line. I mean, they're nowhere near the finish line. And <laughs> he is jumping. I don't think right. he's going to get a dive bomb from back there, but, you know, you never know. But it just goes to show that to Heidi really showing he's not confident that Suomi wouldn't attempt to move. I mean, I don't know, unless Suomi's got the greatest brakes in the world, that he was going to try and move from that far back. Now coming through four over the crest onto the short straight then. Suomi a little wide coming out of the exit, but nothing too bad over the crest. On the brakes then, down to second. Oh, roaring. I, I can't hear the Lambo. All I can hear is Z4 from here. Yeah, Z4 <laughs> is really loud. <laughs> it is deafening. That was a, it's a great noise, so is the Lambo. But uh, <laughs> just all you can hear is... The Lambo is, driver uh, must think he's actually driving a Z4. Like, oh, there's battle oh! close! Oh, it's, it's, it's Benazillian Dalking. That battle's been... Right. They've actually dropped Zenny by nearly a couple of seconds, but it's the Audi right with Dalking then. I mean, to, let's be fair, Dalking's still having an absolutely stunning uh, you know, start to this particular season in Tier 1. It's just started slightly better than this early on. He's going for an, he thought about an inside move coming through 10. It's very, very risky to try an inside move there, unless you know that your opponent is very much committed to flying off the road. Yeah. So uh, Benazili op opting for the uh, safer move then. Oh, the Lambo a little slow coming through 12. So all of these little mistakes from Dalkin is just keeping Benazili in check. But here is where the Lambo really comes alive because my God, can that thing take off? As uh, Dalkin has proven many, many times now over the crest. And uh, you know that's where you can see the moderating of the throttle needed coming over the crest, hugging the apex so you don't fly off the road. And there you go. And the, you know, even in the slipstream, benazili has got no answer to Dalking on that. Wait session. a That's minute. What, what mm -hmm. has happened to the Heidi? Oh, is he pitted? Heidi is gone. He's, he's, dis he's disconnected. Oh, no. no. We've lost to Heidi from second. We're down to 25. Oh, my God. I remember he had a disconnection issue at uh, at the race last season as well, at the start of a race. Bougie? Which proved to be cost costly yeah, it might have been uh, i remember we were we were trying our best to what did it was not the race that he, he reconnected three times and died three times yeah or very short qualified I, test, I think. that was in the dark i believe that was fuji yeah as a speed demon has had his uh, man and he's had the worst possible no. time uh, start of the season then the high date was uh, been so good was running second place and uh, yeah the, that's going to drop him a lot of points sad face yeah. indeed for the high date. A great shame for the Z4 fans, but this battle rages on. That, of course, leaves Suomi to chase after Jardier. And that gap's dropped, I'm pretty certain. It's three and a half seconds. It was double that, I'm sure. So I wonder if Jardier's had some trouble in traffic somewhere. Actually, Jardier is uh, catching up to traffic, I think. Oh, no, he's just gone past traffic. That's probably why he's lost time. So Benizili is absolutely still exceedingly close to Dalking. He knows what flavour chewing gum uh, Dal King is using at the moment. <laughs> he can, he can taste it, yeah. <laughs> uh, but he's legally, yeah. But he's, remember, he's a new driver in the league. So, uh, he's having very a, he's impressive having a great, debut uh, at the moment. Yeah, he's, yeah. Well, he's clearly now in the hunt for a podium with the Dihardis disconnection. Wow, Dal King, there's not much more defensive you could have gone there without going <laughs> in, going through the pit wall. I think he's just trying to to break the slipstream effect just for 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 a couple of seconds and. Benizili couldn't be bothered really following him <laughs> at, that, at, that, at that particular occasion. It, yeah, I mean, it's, it's Scott brings his car in from six, uh, seventh position. So the yep. remaining F, uh, F48 Z4. Then we do, I think we still yeah, have... Yeah, it'd be interesting. Uh, 
with a speed demon, of course, who pitted a couple of laps ago. Uh, he was right with Scott just before. Let's see who's had a better run through the pit lane. Will Scott emerge ahead of Speedeman, or will Speedeman get the jump on the Z4 driver? Oh, there he is. I was trying to <laughs> find him. <laughs> Coming onto the straight now. Where oh, he's just ahead of Alexis as well, which is interesting. Scott's coming down the pit lane, I think. Let's yeah. see. So I think That's Speedeman might have done it. He has. And he has. And oh, Scott, left. he's lost a lot of position. He's had a really slow stop. I wonder if he's done any tire changing or what. But uh, either way, he's lost a lot of time to speed demon. Mm. And Alexis has gone past. Villa Lobos has gone past as well. And uh, Scott is uh, yeah, about six seconds off speed demon. That was a long stop then. But on he goes nonetheless. We're over halfway in this race now on lap 21. And uh, these two Z4s, Adalexis and Villa Lobos, chasing after Speed Demon in the Acura for 11th place. Scott is uh, obviously freshly pitted right behind. There it is another debutant Rodders in the Mercedes with Van Ormen. In oh no, that is Scott! Oh. He's overcooked that into turn five. He, I mean, he could have taken tyres and. Uh, and Jadir's in the pits. I've heard from Marvin in the chat that Jadir has uh, 11 front aero damage. Apparently, oh, so he had some kind of tangle with a backmarker that spun. I was going to say, yeah, he, uh, that would explain where the lead went then. He didn't, wasn't sat still very long, so it was a very quick repair, or he's opted not to have it repaired. Either way, Ooh, that's interesting. It mm. could uh, be costly either way. Suomi, of course, he was about five, six, five, six, seven seconds off of Jardier. Now leads. And now he's in the lead, yeah. Takuza is in, along with T Mac few drivers we haven't looked at for a while. Wow, Ben was in there for a while. Ben is elite. He's got Zenny literally very short succession behind. Shooter now up to fifth position as he hasn't pitted yet. Zenny jumps out ahead, just ahead of, of uh, Cleowen. Yeah. There's uh, Dekuza. A lot of people pitting now in the middle part of the race. Uh, well, past the middle part of the race. Oh, oh wow! Oh, love us. <laughs> On oh, Adelexis, uh, teammates, <laughs> I believe, looking from deliveries, so uh, possibly some team orders. I mean, there's a light flashing. Oh my goodness, he's letting back through. Yeah, the, the, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't think, think that's I don't think that's team order. No, I don't think uh, Adelexis <laughs> is the best pleased about that, but I, it looked like just a, and flash back again. But uh, I don't know if uh, Villa Lobos' front lights work. Yeah. So well, that, that's the opposite of team orders, uh, I think. <laughs> Very much so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there may be a bit of a debrief going on between these two Z4s post-race that we won't uh, we won't be privy to. Oh, that was a bit odd. I mean, it looked like Villalobos just overshot the breaking point and just had to jump to the inside of turn one. I don't know why Ad Alexis would be annoyed at that. There was no impact unless Ad Alexis felt he had to jump out of the way. Yep. Odd. Oh, they may not actually be teammates. They may just have selected uh, the same livery. So, uh, I mean, you, you might have a detail to hand. I'll look quickly check that out. There is Scott on the Sim back racing of Racing Italia esports team. That's with the Lobos anyway. Uh, and he has indeed got Alexis with him. Yes, so they are teammates. <laughs> oh, so they are teammates. Oh dear. So here's a, technically a pair of battles, although they're relatively close together. Scott, after his recent spin on the back of the Lam of the Lambo of Van Omen with Dacuzzi and Rodders directly ahead. Wow, Scott is looks like he's really just crawling all over the back of Van Omen. It would seem that any moment now he's going to fly past. A bit of lag there for Van Omen. Looked like he was going to sail off into the wall. Ooh, now Scott had to get out of that. He was looking for a much quicker line, but there was a Lamborghini in the way. So, and one thing you definitely don't want to attempt is an outside around 14. That would go very horribly wrong for the person on the outside. Scott, and look, just look, the slipstream's actually doing him nothing. The armor is actually getting away from the Z4 along that stretch. So, you know, oh. slipstream is just completely useless along that section. We don't, haven't really seen anybody make it, take advantage of it. So coming through turn three and turn five is going to be the best opportunity then for Scott to try and outbreak the Lamborghini. Here we go again. Look at that one. Is he going to dive on the inside? And again, the Lambo just has the legs on the Z4 to be able to get enough of a gap to prevent Scott doing a, a clean move on the inside. Yeah, indeed. Just uh, a breaking story from the chat, uh, which is the, just about the Heidi. So it wasn't actually a disconnection for the Heidi. He did get disqualified. Uh, oh. Because of a, a 180 spin in the pit lane. Apparently, he touched the grass on the braking for the pit entry 
and did a spin and the game decided to disqualify him. So it was actually his mistake rather than oh. a disconnection. Still, of course, <laughs> a big, big shame when he was running in second place. Uh, but, you know, it's... The Heidi, we, we did well, unless you streamed it yourself, we'd have never have known. You should have gone with the disconnection story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Yeah, oh, uh, nice. it's, uh, yeah, but of course, that, that just shows how one tiny mistake can throw away, uh, you know, a, a mm. really, really good race. And I, I, I feel for you, the Heidi. I have had my fair share, well, not my fair share, I've had one very annoying disconnection, in, uh, disqualification in my time as well. I lost a Formula Renault 3.5 championship because of a disconnection, so. Yeah. Oh, would that would, would that have been the first thing I got? The, would that be the Formula Renault 3? That would indeed oh. be. I got disqualified at Catalonia from doing something stupid. I reversed into the path of someone after I spun it. And uh, hadn't I done that, had I got the points for that race, I would have won the championship. So. That could have been my first and so far only uh, AOR championship. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, the better, oh, the benefit of hindsight. Sad times. The, just, just, just make sure the idea knows that I really feel for it. <laughs> Especially if it ends up costing a championship, but uh, we have no way of knowing oh. that until in nine weeks from now. Let's see. This is a great battle here, though. Scott trying to get past the Lemon Lambo of Mr. Van Omen. He's putting up a good defense, though. And you, you see that he had to break them because the. Oh, that's brave! Oh, my. Can he get it a stick on the double right hander coming through seven and eight? That's yes, he can! What a move! <laughs> that's opportunistic. That's not a corner I expected a move to, to happen like that. You've got to be very, very confident on the grip of your car to do a move there. Now we're going to have the double right-hander on turn 10. I'm not sure Van Omen's really going to have a, an answer, but Scott needs to get some get some distance. We've seen how much pace that Lambo's got, particularly along the straight. So uh, and Scott's not really got anywhere that he can build up any distance. So surely then the advantage will swing back to Van Omen as they come through at turn 13 now. Said for gets on the gas oh and there's a bit of a tail moment there for scott oh, he has had a really good drive out of 13 this this is where he's wanted to use that extra pace but just didn't have the opportunity to do so because van Olman's always been in the way and look at that yeah that's Z yeah that's i mean van Olman had to be very very careful how he went through 14 he really got off the gas whereas the z4 would have been almost flat especially if he has taken fresh tires Oh, there he is turning left into a right-hander again. Saw him do that a few laps ago. Right on the back of the M6, that is Dakuza already ahead of him. So this battle is not done yet. Certainly not. That is Scott, at least making the Heidi a little bit more happy because he is uh, the Heidi's teammate for uh, this season. So he's getting, uh, well, one point as it stands. The difference between 15th and 14th place to so the top 20 positions get points scored of course uh, when you get into the top 10 the difference uh, between each position gets a little bit uh, more severe 50 points for a win down to one point for 20th place so uh, oh that's positions that's really, four points <laughs> this is a really disorientating the way that <laughs> bumper camera watches them so yeah that's uh Dakuza that he is chasing them let's have a look at uh, somebody else while that battle carries on cleo and is on the back of zenny this is a battle for seventh the Lambo could put in the pressure on the Mercedes. So we'll see if he's able to do anything through the final turn. Or oh, Cleo and very wide. You'll have to really be careful how he comes through the final turn. The Mercedes much, much tighter to the apex there, as you saw. Who's that ahead? That is Benazili in the Audi further ahead. That's uh, we just saw at the top of the shot. Suomi continues to lead. He has not brought that car in yet uh, and doesn't have to until the penultimate lap. So... We will see then how long he goes on for. I'm surprised he's got a uh, decent tyre life left in there. But seems to. You know, 42 0, so pretty decent lap times coming out. Jardier getting back into the 141s again. Yeah, 141 5. Wow. Very impressive he's still, stuff. He's still got a decent amount of fuel, so he's really pressing hard. So either he did get that front damage repaired or he's just really pressing on and uh, getting on with it. Third at the moment is Marley in the Rainbow Lambo with uh, Dalking. Up in bow or back up into the second, so it's actually the white and pink Lambos one and two at the moment. They're separated by around about 10 seconds. Yeah, both of course still needing to pit. So, uh, very interesting to see <laughs> where they come out. Shooter as well, yet to pit. He's uh, 38 seconds off the lead at uh, the moment, so you'd think he'd drop quite far down, but he could still find himself in the mm. point positions, running in nicely and steadily. 
in, uh, in fifth place at the moment. But Nizigli as well, he's of course has pitted. So uh, Jadir in fourth, the lead uh, car that has been through the pits, and uh, Benny Benicili in a second out of those. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, he's in a net second, but it really depends on what the pit lane loss is. Uh, I confess I haven't actually been paying attention. was, of course, really, really close with Dalking, so the, 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 whenever yeah, Dalking yeah. decides to do his pit stop, it's when we need to see how that's going to pan out with, with Benicili, and, and Zenvo as well was quite close to them. Yeah, and Zenny is, at the moment, far more preoccupied with Cleo and behind him. So that battle for six rages on. Let's have a look at where everyone else is. There is Speed Demon when the camera catches up to him. In the Acura, representing the mark very, very well. I think in a straight line, the Acura is actually pretty handy, but it's how well it deals with corners, of which there are quite a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> in this particular circuit. <laughs> Villa Lobos, he had that, uh, he was involved in that big turn one, lap one scuffle. And Alexis was who he was fighting with a few laps ago. And uh, Adelaide is from a little way back. Fellow debutant for this tier is Rodders in the Mercedes. Mind his own business there. In 12th, there is Scott. He's actually gotten to the front of that particular pack. He's still oh, got Van Ollman, though, in very, very short. followed him. So is that uh, mm. as the Kuzu lost Kuzu both this. positions? Yeah. He has. Uh, but yeah, Van Ollman really is. He's not. Oh, Scott! That was, uh, that, that was committed. <laughs> that was uh, not the quickest way of doing turn five, but yet again, so many people getting that, getting their cars out of shape. And like I said before, you'll come over a crest, you hit the brakes, and you're trying to turn in all going downhill. So I'm not surprised the uh, cars struggle a little bit. Wow, Van Omen is really, really keeping the pressure on. T Mac in 16th position in his Mac Lamborghini is ahead of an interesting train of cars there is lusty they're not close enough to battle but they are in fairly short succession we're seeing a lot of penalties on the board as well i just realized lusty is there in 17th with a the ace in the next lambo in 18th position with two desert pack in the merc 19 with the soldier netta of murphy in 20th jk in the next Audi down the road 21st with the kamisuki next lambo 22nd there is Beauregard in the Golf Colored Merc coming through turn eight. In 23rd, there is Tragic Bronson, 24. Very much on his own. And Relo is still going in 25th. I thought we were going to quit if Relo didn't win the race. That might uh, be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, bye. Well, see you guys. <laughs> yeah. So, what have we got? Seven laps to do. So, Omi continues to lead. And let's see if he's going to come in. Nope, doesn't no, seem yet. at all interested in that at the moment. Still doing 42 zeros. So. Enjoying his clean air up in, up in front. Uh, yeah, and quite right. Getting, and both actually the front runners in 42 zeros. Last time around, 41.9 from Suomi. So he's got a lot of pace out there to use. And it looks like Dalkin's got a back marker in between himself and his teammates. So Dalkin, 42 completely flat to the thousand. So <laughs> it's consistent. Marley then, let's uh, see if he can... No, he's well past the uh, opening exit there. There is Jardier in the ever-charging Lemon Lambo. 43-2 for Marvin, 41-7 for Jardier. So once again, getting uh, the very, very quick laps in, trying to close that gap down. I don't think he has to push that hard, considering all three of the cars ahead of him have got to pit yet, but you just never know. If he's already had trouble with back markers, he may be kind of just pushing on to make sure he, if he does have trouble with back markers again, then it's not going to cost him the potential win. Indeed. Let's see. Let's be seeing if Marley will put up a challenge when Jadir comes up to him. Or if I was Marley, I might have just stick my car into the pit lane to not have to deal okay. with uh, <laughs> the fast Lamborghini behind. But uh, we shall uh, wait and see. Cleon, of course, uh, Marley's teammate, uh, he was the one who was, he was quite close to. So you'd expect Marley to come in, uh, come out around mm. the sort of eighth position. Uh, and Cleon is very close behind Zenvo. So yeah, he's been chasing that mode for a while. Yeah. Um, very similar lap times, you know, not even half a tenth between the pair of them last time around. So that gap has just pretty much maintained itself. Villa Lobos is getting close to the Acura. That's battle for ninth. And, oh, hang on. Oh, no, Villadobos was the leader. Of course, he's the dented one. That damage has been repaired because he's still setting personal bets. Also, the windscreen is repaired. So uh, I would imagine that much front damage would have done the windscreen in. So there's 
there maybe is a bit of a clue that the damage is actually repaired as far as the car is concerned. We'll see if uh, Speed Demon fights Villa Lobos, who's perfectly entitled to do so, as this is for position. And Marvin is in, so you call that one perfectly there, Fizz, <laughs> as Marvin has indeed brought the Rainbow Lambo in. Let's see where he reappears. Yeah, so uh, Marley, can he hit uh, his uh, marks then for the pit lane? Wow, Looks that's like he's a long uh, nailed that. Down. Yeah, <laughs> long way down the pits. So uh, oh, he's sat there for a while though. So he's dropped position to shooter. Oh, he's yet to pit. Benny Zilli will be coming past there. Yeah. And then is it? It is interesting. There is uh, yeah, Zenvo and Clone as well. His teammate has gone through. As Molly just is on the exit there. So he's got a few seconds to catch if he wants to get oh, higher than eight. Oh, yeah, he's... Uh, uh, had a I, saw, I saw a stationary dot there. She just lost three positions. He's had trouble on uh, coming through one and two somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, he's overcooked that. That's a shame because he was right up there in fourth. Considering he thought he was going to be lapped. That's uh, a pretty decent uh, performance then by the lead M6. Absolutely. But, uh, oh, oh, it's a car off. That's that, uh, that really. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's tragic yeah. Bronson. Yeah, I, I fell for it this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another tragic corner by Mr. Bruce. <laughs> Van Ormen still chases Scott. That Lambo still behind the Z4. Those with a gap forming there as Suomi has brought his car in. Ooh, this is interesting. Mm, now he's sticking to the old five lap rule because uh, he's pitting on lap 30, which would have been the last opportunity, I think. Yep. Yes, it would have technically been the last opportunity by the previous rule set. To bring his Let's car in. Where is Jardier coming? Uh, he's, he's just about to pass oh, him. And yeah, Suomi's uh, that's an easy. Uh, uh, wow, that's a long one for Suomi. Yeah, Jardier has kept his uh, speed up then. And Suomi, yeah, very long stop here. Is oh dear, he that's... filling some fuel or adding some tires? Or... Oh and, dear, he's and, got and, a, and, he's got and a full is tank. it intentional? Oh, he's added all the fuel. That can't be what he wanted. He's you added a lot of fuel to his car. <laughs> <laughs> It's only five laps to go, mate. It's not an endurance race. Oh, uh, God, he's still there. Uh, he must have gotten the same pit strategy or something. More fuel going in there. Yeah. Okay, oh, he's got to have such a heavy car as well for the past uh, last few laps here. If he comes out just in front of someone, he's going to be under pressure. And look at all these cars coming streaming past oh, him. He's going to no. drop so far down. And so this is for the Lobos. What's that? A oh. move going on. Uh, yeah, he'll yes. a speed oh. demon swapping around. I looked away at the wrong moment. Oh, there's Relo again. <laughs> no, it's Tragic <laughs> Bronson, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. I believe so. It oh, is. Oh, it is. There it is. <laughs> Relo has actually overtaken someone. Yeah. Oh, sh oh shooter. Ah, oh, shooter that's just coming out. So uh, from up here, from his battles right up there in fourth, he now comes out. He's just behind Aid the Ace in, seventh, in 18th position. Still in the point, at least. Speed Demon hanging on to the back of that Z4. He's just lost that seventh position too. So still some battling to do. Dow King currently leads the way in the pink and white Lambo. But yeah, Suomi is down in 10th. And yeah, he's got a lot of cars and he's got 100. He took on like 100 and 100 odd liters and left him with 118 oh, in the man. tank. Oh, that thing is going to be like trying to steer a house. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't think you got and your yeah, maths got, quite right there. Yeah, I've already just made a mistake on selecting the right uh, pace thrash in the setting. It's so easy to do, it really is. Do. It's a little bit clumsy sometimes. Uh, Unless he's going to bring a jet engine out, because he'd need quite a few litres for that. Well, yeah, could be the case. I mean, that's if he wants to get back to the to challenge charger, <laughs> I think he needs a jet engine at this point. <laughs> yeah. It's down in 10th uh, in place, and uh, yeah, Rodder's just behind us. Another car is getting... Uh, that might be Rilo because it's a full black it Lamborghini. Is. Well spotted. Dusty and T-Mac are in a battle. That's between the M6 and the black and red Lambo. That's for 15th place. Aid the Ace is looming just behind this one. We actually have quite a few battles forming. And here's the lead one, well, lead battle, so to speak. As in the both battle closes to the lead. I'll get the correct sentences out in a minute of Cleo and on the back of Zenny. This is a battle for now for fourth. Oh, wow, that was Cleo who had very Playing deep. with a Dalking uh, style. Uh, <laughs> yep. <yeah. laughs> who still leads? Still Dalking leads. has... I think, uh, looking at the gaps here... Okay, 13 seconds to Jader. I think Jader has got this in the bag if he keeps it up. Oh, he yeah. doesn't make a mistake. But uh, 36 seconds to Benny Seeley. I think Dalking has a really good chance of staying in second place. 
when he uh, when he when he pits there. Could be. Could well be. Speed Demon is staying with Villa Lobos then. That battle for fourth clearing on the back of Zeni for fourth position. Actually, Villa Lobos, that is Marley directly ahead. So, yeah, that's actually a three way battle forming here now with the Rainbow Lambo, the Dented Z4, and the Akira. So, that battle is going to be to the flag, I would imagine, as we are on lap 32, or they are on lap 32. Our leader, Gao King, has started lap 33, but he will have to come in pretty soon. Now, let's, he hasn't been in, he wasn't part of the. No, he wasn't, but no, he couldn't Let's have been hope, part of the... for Dalking's sake, that it's not a team mistake about the fuel load. And more uh, dry driving mistake, yeah. it's only that he's not going to end up doing <laughs> the, the same thing here. Um, assuming they're communicating as well, potentially, and in which case I'm pretty sure Xiaomi will, have, will tell Dalking have a few to make sure to not do that as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is Xiaomi in 10th, and with Rodders right on his tail. Yeah, the Mercedes is a big thing, but even that's going to be lighter than a fully fueled Lambo. Because I was thinking GTE terms, because you, you know these GT3s never take on that much fuel, or indeed not be any fuel. So uh, I was thinking GTE terms of they only have 100 litres. Well, that thing took on about 120, so that surprised me slightly. Yeah. I'm pretty sure every driver's been through the pits at this point, apart from Dalking. So I don't think we're looking at any issues uh, with that as long as Dal King does so is uh, <laughs> yeah as long as he actually does his uh, mandatory bit of we've got of course oh. a couple of penalties uh, hanging around so that could be well, quite a few people look off let's have a quick look through so Dal King with two then will be 32 seconds 30. I'm pretty sure the 31 will get removed Thir yeah, yeah, that one two right seconds that's going to be costly he's just ahead of clone and Marley two seconds for mm. for Zenmo he well, that will cost him the position to... Oh, no, to wait. Maldis dropped away? Yeah, was he has. Yeah, Mela, Oh, no, he was Yeah, okay. He, yeah, he was. He was right ahead of that battle with uh, Zenny and Cleowen. He's now f trying to fight off. Oh, Ooh. that's close. Well, the uh, Akira of Speed Demon's got a good view of that. And you can see Villa Lobos tried to get on the inside of the Lambo. But the Lambo wasn't having any of that as uh, Dalky has begun the penultimate lap of this race. Again, the Z4 trying to hang on to the Apex for a little bit longer. Now getting into the slipstream of the Lamborghini. And just absolutely gaining absolutely nothing from it once again. Down the hill there. Down. Oh, it's so very late breaking. And it's got a bit wider as a result. And had a big save. Yeah, big save. And that's going to, of course, bring Speed Demon in. The Akira is right there. Ready to pick up on any major mistake that happens. Nice to see the Kira doing well. To sort of yes. uh, justify the choice of a car that we haven't seen in the leagues at all, uh, at least in the top PC tier, until mm. this season. Now, surely then, Dalking is he's either going to come in. <laughs> well, or yeah. He's all... Yeah, yeah. He's either pits or he gets disqualified. And there, there he comes. goes. So, uh, he, ha he, he hadn't actually forgotten to come in, as I did wonder. Uh, either he'd forgotten to come in or I had forgotten he'd already been in. None of the above, thankfully. So here comes then Lemon Lambo of Jardier to start the final lap in the lead. And uh, he's going to have a pretty comfortable lead once Dalkin gets to stop. There he is. And it's not filling fuel, which is good for him. And away he goes into where is he going to reappear? Where's Ben? He's coming around turn 13. Will Dow King come out ahead of the Audi? He ought to. There's still quite a distance between them. Oh, the pit lane feels so slow when you're driving down it. It is, yeah, but there he goes. He's now off the pit lane limiter quite comfortably ahead of uh, Benazili. Of course, he does have... What was Dow King's penalty again? Two seconds. So, uh, he does, as long as he remains that, and he's got six and a half in hand, so that should be, unless he flies off the road, a fairly comfortable podium for him. But still battles up and down the field. Clue in. Is still hanging on to the back of Zenny. That is for fourth. Villa Lobos on the back of Mali. That is for sixth. Speed Demon's form off the back of that. Suomi has lost that uh, tenth position to Rodders. And there's Scott right with him, so he could lose another. T Mac is chasing ADAs for 16th. And JK is cho is chasing Murphy and two desert packs. Chasing his first points. That is the uh, final point position there right in front of him. Uh, Jardia, though. The reigning Once champion, again. reigning two-time champion. He is on for another fantastic start 
into the new season. Mm -hmm. He'll be uh, jumping in the post-race interviews, as he usually does. Well, he'd be, <laughs> he'd be happy, I think, even if he finished last. But uh... it, Yeah, <laughs> pretty, he is usually pretty energetic when, uh, when we interview Jadier. But here he comes out, your winner here in Algarve to open the scoring for Season 11. It's, he's flashing the lights, giving it a wiggle. Why the devil not? It is the Lemon Lambo of Jadier. Woo! Who would have thought we'd say that? Lemon Lambo winning the race. <laughs> and then Dalking then in uh, the uh, pink, black and white Lambo. Coming around at the final corner. Fantastic debut for him. Moving over from the Xbox yeah. side. The tier 2 champion on Xbox last season. Straight into PC tier 1 and getting second place. A podium on his debut. Fantastic stuff. And uh, speaking of debuts, Benny Seeley, another debutante. The Hungarian taking home third place. And then we've got uh, Zenvo. Coming out, holding off Cleveland, but he will lose that position, of course, with a two second penalty. And uh, yeah, we'll drop yeah, way further down. Yeah, we think it'll only be a two, so we think Zenva will stay in fifth, even though the results now will drop him further down as Marley comes home uh, in a sixth place. So the Lobos stays behind him in seventh. Oh, Speed Demon <laughs> in what will be eighth mo. Actually, he's dropped behind a Alexis. So a Alexis drop jumped up to, uh, well, currently it is seventh place. Rodus mm -hmm. in uh, ninth. Suomi has gone up to tenth. Scott crossing line in eleventh. And then uh, we've got Zenny. Uh, Zenny. Zenny. So Zenny, we're yeah. just waiting. So Dakuza, Lusty, Lost Food we haven't looked at for a while. And Van Orman. ABA's oh. getting 15. ABA's. Yep. T Mac. I try and click on Van Omen, but his name yes. is well. <laughs> Murphy so, in the Van Omen actually drops out of the points uh, for the time being, but both remember, remember that both Van Omen and, uh, of course, um, Zenvo had a 30 second time penalty that usually gets uh, removed on, uh, you know, by applying to the students, because that's quite excessive, regardless of what they did. So, uh, we'll have to get the... Uh, Reviewed results uh, further down the line, but either way, here is the result as they stand. Jadier, Dalking, Benazili on the podium. Great move up to uh, T1 as well for uh, Cleon and Mali, the teammates who finished top 2 of T2 last season. And of course, uh, we already went through the rest. So what a uh, start of the season. Ooh. A lot of battles, but a familiar sight in uh, first place. What a surprise, Jadier. Here's jump straight into the ready for interview box. Let us have a word. Mr. Honzik. Hello! <laughs> Once Hello. again. Once again, we have the pleasure of talking to you. Uh, I've actually lost count of how many wins of the road this is for you. I don't think much. I think like second, maybe? I don't know how many you have in a row, but I know that you now have 11 wins in 21 races in this league. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Looked like you had that all in hand, but you did look like you were really pushing hard, uh, particularly after the pit stop. So, uh, how was it for you? Well, the start of the race was great. I was like, uh, kind of like slowly getting confident with the car and everything, and I was pulling away. And when the guy behind me got a slowdown penalty, I was like, okay, I can pull away. And I was pulling away. And I don't know if you have seen it, but like in the middle of the race, there was a car in front of me who spun and crashed me. I got we did 11. hear about it. <laughs> yes, yeah, we heard <laughs> with the chat. See. Yeah, he was like spinning to one side and then he spinned to the other side. I almost braked and we touched and I got 11 damage on the car. And I just had to pit because I was losing 1.5 seconds per lap. So I just pit wow. right away. And I probably borrowed uh, pit crew from Fissy because my pit stop was like 2.5 seconds to repair <laughs> the car. Oh. So thank you. Thank you, Fissy. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> no worries. You, uh, yeah, I'll drive in the Lemon Lambo, so I have to help you out a bit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then I was just pushing after a pit stop, suddenly everything worked, and I was doing 41.6, 41.7 lap times, and everything worked in the end, so yeah. I'm absolutely happy. Round 1, Season <laughs> 11, I'm absolutely happy, absolutely happy. Only shame my teammates had some problems, issues in the qualifying, and yeah, the Heidi disconnected as well, so I really don't know what happened there. A long way of the season to go, so uh, we look forward to great things in Season 11. So thank you very much, Jadier. Let thank us see so who. Let us see who else wants to talk to us. Benazidi, Dalking, and Zenny all in the box. Let's grab them over. And here they all are. Firstly, let's have a chat with T1 regular Zenny. Hello to you, sir. Hello. 
You had a lot of defending to do there. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> I don't know, I was just struggling in the start, man. I don't know, my car didn't feel like the same as what I'd practiced with. It didn't feel right, and it was just a case of like, just trying to defend. And I just got to the point, I was like, I'm going to slow myself down. So I'll let the, the <coughs> Audi driver by and just try to hang on the back of him. And that was it. And then I ended up getting a 30 second penalty for someone who spun and had to go go like off the track to avoid hitting him. We we thought that would be the case. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you put that in the suit. And it's, yeah. Uh, hopefully <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did, I did see you had a two second penalty as well. So I'm pretty sure you're going to drop that to fifth. Yeah. I yeah. think I'll finish fifth in the end or something. Yeah. Still, a solid start of the season. Yeah. 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 Mercedes, uh, I don't think it was the fastest car here. Struggled a bit out of like the acceleration out of the slow turns, but I think fifth place is a is a good way to start the season. Much better start than last season. I think I'd <laughs> finished tenth last season at the start, so yeah, this is a much better start. Well, on your way to a good result. Good Thank on you, Zenny. We look forward to the next one. And we have two debutants to talk about. Firstly, Benazili, welcome to you. Hello and back on for everyone. <laughs> well, what a way to make your name in tier one. That was uh, that was very impressive. How was that race for you? Um, I I started very slow and uh, lost uh, two or three position maybe. Before the first corner, I got sandwiched, so <laughs> I had to turn very careful to, to not hit anyone. And uh, I worried about a bit the accelerations in the couple of first lap because I think the Audi was the slowest on the acceleration and the straight and and in the in the sandwich of the Lambos it's really hard to oh, wow. de defend the positions and uh, after that um, I think about I be a bit early but uh, I could pass the Mercedes then I went my own speed and uh, after that I it in the lap 25 maybe because I don't want to stuck behind the lapped cars and <laughs> pitted early and um, I had to fuel like 15 liters because uh, six seconds stop is no uh, can't make uh, shorter so I fuel at 15 liters <laughs> then uh, I came back and I don't know what happened to Suomi, but uh, I don't know what happened with ducking to the box too, because I was <laughs> one second behind him and after the box, he, he was like six seconds ahead for me, but it was a really good race. I didn't expect ex for that and I'm really happy for these positions. I, before the race, I said I would be really happy when I finish in the top 10. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. Really good. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic debut and welcome to the league. What a way to start for you. Thanks. <laughs> and of course, talking of impressive debutants, we have got Dalking with us. Well, well, well. That's a fabulous way to start your day. <laughs> yeah, that was good for me at all. Bloody hell. So, uh, I mean, you, you kind of looked like you were really pushing a bit too hard early on. We saw you yeah. really having a. I mean, that <laughs> tail looked like it was exceedingly loose. It looked like it was about to fall off. Yeah, I don't know what was going on. I think I just got overexcited. I was overdriving the car, and it would just, the tyres overheat, and that was it. I just started dropping back. But yeah, hopefully for the next race, I can cure that nerves a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it did look like you kind of settled down a bit. It was just, was it just a case of you know settle the nerves down and focus, or, yeah. or or did all the cards just kind of fall into place? Yeah, the, yeah, that's it. I started to calm down in like the middle stint, and then I started like getting sort of saw me back a little bit, and then uh, I don't know what happened to him. He just fell off into hiding gifted me second so uh, apart from that it was a good race what a shame eh <laughs> yeah how fast is Jardy uh, eh damn that thing's got something <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> we, we, we did mention about jet engines early on so. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it when you're behind him yeah. <laughs> great stuff welcome to the league and what a fantastic way to uh, to open the score sheet for you yeah thank you Right, uh, no one else has uh, made himself available for interview, so I think we shall wrap this up then, Lord Fizzy. Yes, let's uh, do it. Uh, great start of the season. We've got another nine races to look forward to in the coming weeks, so uh, should be GT3 racing here on the Apex Online Racing channel for the next 
nine weeks, because there are no break weeks, as far as I know, in uh, this calendar. Actually, I have prepared a little uh, little graphics to have a quick peek at all the tracks that we're going to run through this season. So we've been through Algarve now. Next week, we will be heading towards a classic Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. Uh, and then it'll be interesting, round three at Nürburgring combined, including the Nordschleifer. Wow. With... um. Of course, uh, there is two other races this season, round three and round eight, like last season, which uh, will not have a qualifying session. The grid will be determined by a reverse championship standings, and one of them is that race at Nürburgring Nordschleife. So, uh, hmm, it's going to be a lot of overtaking having to happen at the track that the drivers will have to focus mainly on just not dying. <laughs> so that's that's one to look out for in two two weeks, and then you can see all the rest of the tracks. We will of course touch more on them as we get there. But it's going to be a nice long season, uh, all the way until 12th of December, a couple of months there of uh, GT3 action in Season 11. So uh, I hope that everyone who has joined us today has uh, had a good time, hope you all enjoy uh, what uh, you saw. Hope all the drivers had a good time as well, well, and of course a few unfortunate ones, but uh, hopefully they can bounce back next week. And um, yeah, we will be back. Thank you as always, uh, King uh, Kodiak, for joining me in the box. Always, always my pleasure. Indeed, we will be back next week for more AOR action. Thank you very much, and good night.